Good morning. It is uh, awesome to be with you again this morning, although it's evening for us. We uh, are very grateful that you are tuning in to In Light Connections. I am Loretha Gunnels Mayberry, and uh, this is Ernie Dorsey, Merlin McGarry. And uh, once again, we are here to share with you what we believe that the Lord has given us to, uh, to share with you. Um, last week, we didn't quite get done with what we were working on, uh, sharing, uh, uh, to share what he had given us. So we're going to do it again. Uh, supernatural change and increase. And uh, I want to start by saying that God is giving us new eyes to see and new ears to hear, to seize the, this moment for an upgrade. And we're going to start with preparation. There's uh, about three or four uh, uh, issues, uh, uh, deals that we want to, for lack of words, uh, help me, guys. Recommendations. Yeah. To, to be ready. Uh, uh, yes, to be ready. And so be alert, be ready, embrace the change, stay positive. And so we're going to start with uh, preparation. Prepare yourself, concentrate, and pray, mm -hmm. and fast. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start with that. Who wants to take that first? I, you know, when I first uh, saw that one, it was as if, you know, the beginning of every year, most churches come together with a corporate fast, or even individuals mm -hmm. want to have a time where they are seeking the Lord right. for direction for a brand new year. But, you know, it's special this time um, because um, we just got over a year that was pretty uh, challenging it's for really most. Very rough. And it's still... Uh, at its peak. Yes. Um, and so this year, um, I believe because of the divine um, reset that has occurred and that we're still a part of, mm -hmm. we're going to start seeing more manifestation of God's spirit mm -hmm. um, falling upon people and, and upon the church to mm -hmm. make those changes, mm -hmm. enablement to, to make the changes and the progress that he wants done because of the reset. And so praying and fasting is, is a part of it, prayer it and fasting. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. um, God is calling us more into a secret place, the secret place of, of that aloneness, that time with him uh, to deal with us personally and individually so we find our role and know what our part is, mm -hmm. you know, in this I, last I, I, I like era. That. I like mm -hmm. that. Were you done? Uh-huh, sure. Um, I saw on Facebook um, this person, and I forget whether it was, a, it seemed like it was a man, Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that he does not uh, like to have a particular time to say he's going into a secret place because then uh, if the anointing comes, then he'll think that uh, he has to go into a secret place every, every day or every time mm -hmm. to be able for the, for the anointing to come. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, wow. But for me, mm -hmm. um, I, I, would, I, would, I would that I would go every day. Mm -hmm. uh, however, my life has been uh, set so that I have not been doing it. Mm -hmm. But we can, we can always make time to do whatever we want to do, right. don't we? Oh, yeah, right. exactly. Right. So I, I can't say that I'm so busy I don't have time, mm -hmm. I can't get to it. Mm -hmm. I just haven't um, made the time. However, right. I am in that place. Mm -hmm where I have started to make time. Mm -hmm. And uh, things have changed, uh, the, mm -hmm. the uh, encounters, the dreams, right. every right. night the mm -hmm. dreams are coming and the things God is me. But it, it, and it's for me. He's right. preparing me exactly. for the days to come. Mm -hmm. So I, it's very important that, that you uh, uh, have a secret place, mm -hmm. an altar to go and meet God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we started with a, um, uh, three week fast, 21 day fast. Mm -hmm. And not only did we fast, we also had Bible study every night. Mm -hmm. wow. And we met and we, we always prayed in the spirit and then we let God tell us what he was saying mm -hmm. through, through the mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. 
and it was more more powerful stuff because we all have the prophetic on the inside of us if we just let loose and let God use us yes. because I mean people were coming out that were like oh my god you know God said that you know I mean I would that's what I was saying you know because you would think that it would just be the prof the prophets but it was everybody God can everybody. use anybody and he wants to use everybody. Yeah, he does. He does. He really does. Amen. Um, then we have here uh, new assignments and adventures come to those who prepare. And I, I'm going to say this before I shift it to one of you guys that the fact of the matter is, is that God is not going to... Um, overpower you and, and give you things mm -hmm. to do and you sit and watching all the world turns or whatever mm -hmm. that soap is. <laughs> the yog and the wrestling. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I, I, there's nothing wrong with you maybe tuning in, but sometimes we become, uh, it becomes a vice for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but God want us to, to uh, get with him and seek his mm -hmm. face and love on him. Yes. Just, yeah. waiting on us to come and love on him mm -hmm. and, and for him to love on us and to speak mm -hmm. to us, talk to us. Right. So new assignments are an upgrade and God wants to give us that upgrade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can't pour new wine into old wine right. skins. Right. That, come on now. And mm -hmm. so that our bodies have to be changed, our spirits right. have to be changed, our minds have to be changed. Mm -hmm. We have to be renewed, mm -hmm. you know, in our minds. Because I remember you saying before mm -hmm. that our bodies is the temple exactly. of God. Exactly. Exactly. And so we can't just be putting anything. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Go ahead on can't that. Can't just put anything in it. <laughs> Can't mm -hmm. be watching any old things mm -hmm. on TV. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You got an eye gate and you got an ear gate. And you got to right. watch them. That's yes. right. Yeah. Yes. 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 The Holy Spirit lives within us. That's right. And what we're seeing, he's seeing. That's mm -hmm. right. Or he's going to leave <laughs> and not see right. it. I don't know. He's and, a sovereign and he, God. And he calls for preparation. When we come before him, we have to be prepared. Mm -hmm. We prepare for everything else. We prepare to go to work. We prepare. Mm -hmm to go to church. Come we on, prepare man. everything, yes, right. but we don't prepare to get into the face of God. On, we just come any old kind of way. Just you know, I know anything. he says, come, come as, as you are, are. <laughs> but sometimes we take that a That's little a little literally. Than, you know, he, he don't mean dragging kind of your suitcases behind you, you know. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so exactly. preparation is really essential. I think <laughs> what's key is what Apostle said when she said that, um, you know, he he's, has new assignments for us. Mm -hmm. And you really have to be prepared for those assignments. Yes, yes, yes. Same thing you're There's saying. that word again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if, you, if you really want something different from God, you've got to make a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And you've got to change the way yes. that you're living to move right. into a new level. Yes. You're not going to, the things you were doing back here is not going to help you move out here. That's mm -hmm. right. In that new place that he has That's in you. Good. Mm -hmm. That you have so in good. him. Yes, yes, that is so good. Yes, yes. And then that secret place. Yes. That secret place, you know, we take that and we think it's, oh, we've got to go and have a prayer clause and get down on our knees. Yeah, and, yeah. Well, that could be your secret place. Right, right. Yeah. But your secret place is your intimacy with God okay. that you have all the time. Right. You can carry him in your, because in, you, he's in your spirit. You can commune with God at any time. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. 24 7. You can. you can just acknowledge the fact that he is there. He is there with you, yes. and the more that you dwell upon him and pull mm -hmm. upon his presence, mm -hmm. the more he'll show up. Mm -hmm. you, you're absolutely right. I mean, I've had some awesome encounters in my bedroom. I, mm -hmm. Now, I have a prayer room, mm -hmm. but I, I have had some awesome encounters right there in my exactly. bedroom. Exactly, yeah. And so just what you're saying is very accurate. Mm -hmm. The next and I just want to add to the, the scripture we were just talking about, come as you are mm -hmm. and where you are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was like, okay, you don't got to go running around the house trying to find a place. No. Now. So, I mean, we just need to just of course stop not. on a dime and just say, okay, Lord, yeah. I'm here. Yes. I've noticed there's sometimes there's a place, like you mentioned your bedroom, mm -hmm. that there is this place where he can can meet you mm -hmm. and it seems like he's just waiting for you mm -hmm. come on when now. you sit down and you're just mm -hmm. 
forget about everything else and, and begin to dwell upon his presence. Yes. Yes. He does actually connect right yes. with you. Yes. yes. You know, there was one one time, and it's, you know, it's interesting. I always thought my my bedroom was my, my portal. It mm -hmm. is because I, I dream a lot. It's how he deals with me mm -hmm. is in dreams yeah. and visions. Uh -huh. But you know, it's, it's my little study area and my little kitchen area where I carved out that I actually spend time Where in the word study, yes. mm -hmm. and you know and I have my little coffee or tea and then you know it was one day I was there and and I just smelt this scent mm. and it was so sweet yes. and I said what the heck is that mm. yes. and I, you know I should have known then it was yes. either yes. it was something from heaven it definitely wasn't oh. I was not cooking yeah yes. and it wasn't these roses that I had mm. over here in the water mm. yes. it was sweeter than that and it was almost like a cinnamon, real sweet, sweet, mm. sweet cinnamon yes. smell. Yes. And it yes. was just amazing. I acknowledged it, but I didn't, I, I guess I could have embraced could it more. It. Yeah. And brought more of, of God and heaven there mm. where yeah. I was at. Mm. Yes. So we, yes. we learned day by day yes. Yes. how to in the school you know, be Spirit. in his, in yes. his position Hallelujah. to ourselves. But I was thinking of, you know, he wants us to position ourselves for increase and for breakthrough. Mm -hmm. It is time for that. It and is we time. We have to be ready. We have to prepare ourselves. Yes, yes. Prepare we, our have, temples. we must be alert. We must be ready. Amen. We yes. must be paying attention. Amen. We can't mm -hmm. be somewhere with our heads in the cloud. Mm -hmm. We've got to be paying attention. Amen. Yes. I agree. It's a good word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise uh, the Lord. Also, I'm we need to, up. well, you said you talked about being ready, I think. Ooh, yeah. And so the, the next Both thing we could look at is God. embracing that change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like I said, if I'd embrace that aroma, Come on, I could have went mm -hmm. in somewhere and got somewhere that I hadn't been before. Mm -hmm. See, we just, you know, naive about it. It's like, yeah. oh, okay. And then the very next day, oh, I have to admit, <laughs> it happened again the very next day. But God does that. He yeah, does, he does. He's done that with so me. So he's like, you know, he's kind of like talk pulling you. you. Yeah, mm -hmm. taunting, taunting you. you or <laughs> it's me. It's me. Yeah. So he came right exactly. back the next day. Exactly. Well, awesome. I knew, I sensed the change and the shift of the presence in the room. Mm -hmm. And I just said, oh, it's the angels. You know, the angels are here. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, mm -hmm. I have them around too. So, yeah, yeah, it was amazing. Well, now, <laughs> she's talking about the angels. She has. <laughs> She have. We don't think we have lost it. No. <laughs> she, she have these visitations oh, mm. from from angels, mm -hmm. and and I think that it that is very awesome. Mm -hmm. But again, you heard her say that she embraced that uh, next day that 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 aroma mm -hmm. that came, and God. Oh, I tell you, the the spiritual realm is awesome mm -hmm. when we when we uh, yeah. yield ourselves right. yes. and yes. be able to tap into that mm -hmm. spirit to the spiritual realm, mm -hmm. yeah. and mm -hmm. then stay positive, keep a positive mm -hmm. attitude. Mm -hmm. How do you think we would do to keep a positive attitude, Prophet? Mm -hmm. I believe that it's it's all a mental state, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and as long as we stay in the realm of God and think on him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and instead of thinking on things of the world come yeah. on now woe is me woe yeah. is them <laughs> woe is us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just think on the on the spirit of god yeah. because he wants to commune with us and if he comes and you feel yeah. his presence just embrace it yeah embrace right. it and if you don't know how just sit still mm -hmm. yes. and ask the Lord to come that's on in. That's what brings it, yeah. The yes. You know? yes, And yes. even if he's not there, he will come because mm -hmm. you have put yourself into a spot where mm -hmm. you have said, okay, I'm still, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm just waiting yeah. on you. Yeah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. God. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, Praise God, I Lord. thank you. Hallelujah. Now, you, you were saying a few minutes mm -hmm. ago, uh, Prophet Marilyn, how we can't just watch anything here and listen to anything. And I'm looking here at um, a uh, vision, I believe, that God gave to you mm -hmm. or, or an encounter uh, uh, February the 19th, 2021. Of course, mm -hmm. the scripture is um, 1 Corinthians 3.17 and, mm -hmm. and um, that might have been what I was supposed to uh, label the, uh, the, the topic. Oh, no. <laughs> Do not defile God's <laughs> temple. Well. But anyway, 1 Corinthians 3.17 mm -hmm. says, If any man defiles the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Mm -hmm. 
for the temple of God is holy. Which temple are which temple ye are? That's King James Version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it follow, is followed by that. Out of the abundance of the heart, mm -hmm. the mouth speaks. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I want to go back to this temple because mm -hmm. many, many times people do not realize that their body, that God, once they, they accept Jesus Christ, God right. forgive them for their sins, mm -hmm. and they are born, the spirit is what's born again. That's right. God comes and he dwells on the right. inside. Yeah, exactly. right. And so I, 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 I think mm -hmm. that because I see that expression a lot mm -hmm. of times, especially when I was going to the prison and ministering and stuff, mm -hmm. and then I would need to explain how they um, became, or how they are the temple of God if they have given their life mm -hmm. to Christ. Mm -hmm. And I think that we wouldn't say a lot of things that we say. Mm -hmm. you know, we wouldn't do a lot of the things we do. That's right. We wouldn't go a lot of the places my, that we my, my. go mm -hmm. if we realized that God is Lord dwelling on the inside. Right. Matter of fact, he said, I'll us. never leave you nor forsake yeah, you. Yeah, we're taking him with <laughs> us. You know. I'll be with you to the end of the age. Right. So if he's cool. with us, yes, my yeah. God, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. hey, Hallelujah. you know, Man. we need to be careful mm -hmm. how we even treat people. Mm -hmm. And so then, and then we, we oh, go down, did God. you have anything you want to say oh, about that's that? That's good, that's yeah. good. Uh, out that's of the good. abundance of the heart, mm -hmm. the mouth speaks. Yes, out of God. the overflow of, oh, your, oh, of your soul, oh, guard your gates, your eye gates, mm -hmm. and your ear gates. Mm -hmm. Watch the seeds that you are sowing. Amen. Once a seed is planted, it Amen. must grow. Amen. And if it is fed, it will produce after its own kind. Amen. And so that means that we sow bad stuff, what? Bad that stuff is going to come, yeah. come back bad and it's going to grow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then your body be wanting more of that growth. Now, I right. think you're supposed stuff. to read that. That's I don't okay. Know. No, you go. <laughs> doing just fine. I, I felt good <laughs> in there. You're just doing just fine. <laughs> 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 if you notice, that felt Hallelujah. good to me. Yeah, you stirred me up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Glory. Say, glory, produce glory. the fruit of mm -hmm. righteousness. Yes, you Lord. must sow righteous fruit mm -hmm. of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna tell you something. The fruit of the spirit comes out of Galatians 5:22. Mm -hmm. Come on. And uh, the, the fruit of the spirit. I believe that you receive the fruit of the spirit when you get born again. When your right. spirit is born right. again. Right. However, everything don't co don't come developed yeah. at the same time. That's right. I, mm -hmm. I, I believe that you have to cultivate. Come yeah. on. And, and wherever you're short at, you have to cultivate mm -hmm. it. And then you will what you say self control. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not too good controlling yourself, you know, mm -hmm. cultivate that, read more of the word, pray and ask God to help mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And then you can be able to uh, produce that fruit. Yes. Amen. Uh, go ahead, prophet. Oh, I yeah, took yeah. you over. No, that's fine. Test every spirit to determine mm -hmm. if it is God. Mm -hmm. Test every, the Bible tells us to test. Mm -hmm. If the spirit will not confess Jesus as Lord, mm -hmm. then that spirit is not Amen. From God. It's not from God. Free yourself of every dead weight, every hindrance to produce fruit of righteousness. Mm -hmm. When you do so, mm -hmm. you will produce the fruit of the Spirit by Spirit, my Spirit, mm -hmm. and holiness. My holiness. God is speaking, you guys. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen. Yes, yes. Ah, Sunday. Hallelujah. Uh, holiness, my holiness, he said. Mm -hmm. My glory mm -hmm. will rest upon you. Yes, yes. Oh, thank Jesus, you, Father. Jesus, God is Jesus. required is requiring yes. spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. And I believe the prophet is speaking now. Mm -hmm. We must abide in him, mm -hmm. allowing him to prune, mm -hmm. to cut yes. away our, our, our mm -hmm. hearts, the 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 uh, the, the stuff that we have That's there, because right. no one knows what's in their own heart. Yes. And so God needs to come in and, and reveal it to us. And when we do, we need to yield yes. to him and say, That's Lord, good. help me. That's yes. good. Cut yes. it away. Yes. Take yes. it away. I don't yes. want it. Amen. If it's not Amen. like you, I do not want it. Amen. Mm -hmm. And di discipline us. So we do not defile his temple that you would be, that would be you, that would be me. Mm -hmm. So that would be you and that would be me. Yes. It would be all of right. us. Yes. Yes. Would you take Romans, uh, let's see here. 
How close are we to that word? We're good. We got two. Okay. Two scriptures. Maybe I can do one, and Ernestine can do one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to do the, this one? Let me do this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Romans six verses twelve through fourteen. Sin is a dethroned monarch. So, you must no longer give it an opportunity to rule over your life, controlling how you live and compelling you to obey its desires and cravings. So then, refuse to answer its call to surrender your body as a tool for wickedness. Instead, passionately answer God's call to keep yielding your body to him as one who, one who has now experienced resurrection life. You live now in his pleasure or for his pleasure, ready to be used for his noble purpose. Verse 14. Remember this, sin will not conquer you, for God already has. You are not governed by law, but governed by the reign of the grace of God. Yes, and that's the pa Passion Translation. Okay. Amen. Now, uh, Ernie, could you get uh, Philippians 1, mm -hmm. uh, 9 through 11, please? Mm -hmm. It says, I continue to pray for your love to grow yes. and increase beyond measure. That's Paul speaking, isn't it? Right. Mm -hmm. Bringing you into the rich revelation of spiritual insight in all things. Mm -hmm. That means that it'll be intensified. Mm -hmm. That as you read the word, it'll begin to grow. Yes. It's like planting a seed in your mind. Mm -hmm. It says, and this will enable you to choose the most excellent way of all, becoming pure, and without offense until the unveiling, unveiling of Christ. And you will be filled com completely with the fruits of righteousness that are found in Jesus, the anointed one, bringing, you, bringing great praise and glory to God. And that's also the new passion. Praise the God. Passion praise God. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Is there anything you, either one of you want to say about mm, those scriptures? Thank you, Father. I'd just like to pray. Well. And close out. Okay, could you real quick? I can. Father, we thank, thank you for this time and this word, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Teach us, Holy Spirit, to yield to you as you change us to make us more like you, Lord. We know Hallelujah. that we grow from glory to glory. And we thank you, Lord God, that you continue to to help us to be successful Christians, to yes, endure yes, do as it, a Lord, good soldier. Do it, In Jesus' name, Hallelujah. we pray. Amen. 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 Now, <clears throat> I'm going to read your prophetic word again. Okay. <laughs> the one that I, I believe that we don't know who is who has tuned in, but I sense when the prophet shared mm -hmm. this word with me that it was for someone that would be watching mm -hmm. uh, that would, 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 would need this word, that, it, that is for you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to know that it's for you when I read it. Mm -hmm. It says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Out of the overflow of your soul, guard your gates, your eye gates, and your ear gate. Watch the seeds that you are sowing. Once a seed is planted, it must grow. And if it is fed, it will produce after its own kind. And I think we said this, these same, the same words here back, back over, but I, I didn't see it as being a prophetic word. Or maybe it was, but I'm saying it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Produce the fruit of righteousness. You must sow righteousness, righteous fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Test every spirit to determine if it is of God. Mm -hmm. If the spirit will not confess Jesus is Lord, then that spirit is not, is mm -hmm. not come from God. Mm -hmm. Free yourselves of every dead weight, every hindrance to produce the fruit of righteousness. When you do so, you will produce the fruit of the spirit, my spirit and holiness, my holiness and my glory will rest upon you too. And we are so grateful that you tuned in yes, this morning you, we, we, we know you could have been doing something else, mm -hmm. but you chose to tune in uh, to End Light Connections, and we are very grateful. And we say, may the Lord bless you Hallelujah. as we um, say goodbye to you for this session. 
and uh, we will tune in with you during the next session. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.